Today we will show you how to paint Hell Wasp from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. Hey guys! This is Nisa from Denef Imagination. I have a tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be Hell Wasp, painted by one of our painters, Agnieszka. This is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we are going to paint the model of Hell Wasp from Whiskey series. And the paints that we are gonna use are Light Flesh Black Bloody Red, Blue Violet, Dark Prussian Blue, Gold Yellow, Light Grey, Medium Blue, Orange Fire, Violet, Violet Red and White. Today we are going to paint a model of Wasp from Whiskey series. So, let's start. For the first step, we are going to paint the base coat on the main body of the wasp. The wings we are going to leave unpainted for now, because we will need the light color of primer later. For the body, we will use a black paint and white brush size 10. If you prefer something smaller, or if you will have problems reaching some places, you can take one brush size 3 or any other brush that you will feel comfortable with. What matters is that we need to cover the surface evenly. With bigger and wide brushes, this step will go quicker, but the size and shape of the brush is really above the preference. Mix your paint with the water to make it more liquid and start to cover the surface of the wasp's body. With the surface with that amount of details, cracks and recesses, it is better to paint the base coat with the two thinner layers and thus make sure that we painted the entire surface. So for the first layer, give a little bit more water. And for the second layer, before you start, remember to give the first one time to get dry. While painting, I am changing the direction and position of my brush to match it with the details of the body and to use the shape to my best advantage. By changing the direction of movements, I also make sure that I am getting with my paint into every place, evenly smudging my paint on the surface. For the wings, as I said, we need to leave them unpainted for now. The lighter color of primer will help us to achieve brighter colors. The color of primer is very important while working with acrylics. As a painting, the shade of the upper color really depends on the color of the lower layer, and it will be easier to achieve the bright colors of the wings layer with the light color of primer. After this layer gets dry, we can proceed with highlighting. Take violet color and white brush size 6. We are gonna proceed with the dry brush. Let's start with explaining that while working with dry brush, you need to keep your brush away from the water. So after you put your paint on your palette, do not wet your bristles, but just dip the tip of your brush into your paint directly. Then wipe it out on the paper towel. When the brush starts to leave like a mist effect on the towel, you are ready to begin. Start to stroke the surface of the model like you would clean it from the dust. At the beginning, you may not see the color with its full strength, but after some time, the color will build itself, so just keep going until you will achieve the effect that you want. With this step, cover the entire surface of the main body. Leave the wings, legs and the stings unpainted. For the legs and sting, we will use another color for highlight. If you notice that the color starts to disappear from the brush, just dip the tip in your paint again and continue the process. Try also not to take too much paint on your bristles, because paint is still a liquid and may make our brush wet and thus we can create smudges. On the surface, it is very unlikely for us to see it, seeing how many details we have on the wasp body, 
but in the future, while working with smooth surfaces, try to remember that. Now take blue violet and white brush size 6, and with a dry brush again, add some more light to the main body. You do not have to cover it entirely with this color, focus on some places that you believe should have more light. Try to cover around 3 or 4 of it. If you used this brush in the previous step, you should clean it first, because for the dry brush technique it is also very important for the brush to not only be dry, but also clean. You may clean it with water, but then remember to give it the time to dry completely. You can also use other cleaners that dry out faster, or prepare for yourself a few white brushes to use them while working with this technique. For the next color take violet red. We are staying with the white brush and dry brush technique. We should add just a little bit of this color to the body to make it more interesting for the eye. Thanks to the light surface of some highlights, the violet red color will get lighter as well. This is again thanks to the fact that acrylics depend so much on the color of the under layer. The layers of color will start to blend between themselves and so will create an interesting pattern. Now take dark Prussian blue and white brush size 6. With dry brush cover the legs and the sting of the wasp. You can also add some dry brush with this color on the antennas. With medium blue, add some highlights on the legs. Focus on the joints, the places of bend, and the places where the light should fall on directly. Don't forget about the antennas.
For the last part of highlight on the body, take light flesh and with wide brush size 4, add some dry brush on spikes, joints, the head, the end of the sting and the antennas. On the wasp's body, you may see some lines on segments. Follow those lines. Now we take bloody red color and run brush size 3. With this we are covering the eyes and the segments under the wasp abdomen. In here we are using simple base coating, so mix your paint with a little bit of water and carefully paint those segments with one or two layers. Try not to overpaint areas about those segments, but if you do, don't worry, just take one of the previous darker colors and cover it with them. You can also add some dry brush to blend this place with the rest of the body if necessary. Now take gold yellow and white brush size 6. We will create the first layer of highlight with dry brush and then we will follow it with glaze. Dip the tip of your brush into the paint and wipe it out on the paper towel. With the segments your movement should cross them. Do not paint every single one separately but just cover them all with one long stroke. Remember that at the beginning you may not see the strong results but just keep going. When you finish with the segments, take the same brush and color and start to build the yellow glow on the wasp mandible. At first, cover the entire segment, but with time, focus more and more on the front of the part to make the strongest light there. To end this step, take gold yellow and mix it with water close to 2 to 1 ratio. Take a round brush with the sharp tip, dip the tip in your paint and add thin layers on each of the segments, on the upper half of the eyes and the ends of the mandible. Thanks to that, we make the yellow color even stronger. Wait for the first layer to get dry before you will add another one if you feel that you want to add more color to it.
Now we will paint the wings. Here we are going to show you the wet blending technique. If you prefer, you can just paint the wings with one color. Yellow or red would definitely look very good on them. But we will use this opportunity to show you a technique that maybe you would like to try. Prepare your paints first. Violet, bloody red, orange fire, gold yellow and light flesh. Wet blending technique is a technique that you have to work quickly before the paint dries out on the painted surface. That's why before we start, we are gonna prepare all the paints to shorten the time between changing the colors while working. Put all of those colors on the palette. Then add a little bit of water to each of them to make them more liquid and thanks to that extend the drying time. Also, to have more control and stability over the model, I will hold the model by its body, but to not destroy the painted parts, I am covering the model with a paper towel. Thanks to that, the model will be safe and we will have more stability over the model. For this technique, I am going to use a wide brush, because it has its wide and it covers more surface with one stroke and make it faster to blend the colors on large and flat surfaces like the wings. But if you prefer the round brushes, I advise you to take a bigger size of it. The bigger the surface, the bigger the brush. Of course, if we would use wet blending technique on the small surface, we would paint with a smaller brush. So let's start! Wet blending technique is all about blending still wet layers of paint. We will start by painting the left end of the wing with violet color. After this, we are cleaning our brush and taking the clean, bloody red color. We are starting close to the edge of the violet area and blending them together. Remember that if something will not go well, we can always try again. We just need to cover the surface with some light color. You can use light flesh or light gray, for example, and try again. It is practice that makes us better and better. So after blending violet and red together, clean your brush and take bloody red again and cover more surface with it. Every time that we are gonna change the color, we have to clean our brush with water to work with clean bristles and then use another color to blend it in. Clean the brush again and take orange fire. Blend it with a red area first and go to the other end of the wing. Every next color covers the one third part of the previous one for blending and then I am covering more space with brighter color, slowly getting closer to the other end of the wing. But I am not covering the rest of the wing. The light primer will allow me to get more vibrant colors than the ones I would build on the darker surface. Orange color will be brighter on light grey surface than on the red one, and the yellow one will be brighter on light grey surface than on the orange one, etc. etc. So I always leave some surface left unpainted for the next color. Let's go back for a moment to give the previous colors more strength. Take some more bloody red and add it to the wing. Then I am taking orange again and blending it in. We can say I am using the same approach as with base coating, painting with two thin layers to make the color stronger and more even.
Afterwards, I am cleaning the brush, taking gold yellow and blending it in with the orange fire, then expanding the yellow color more on the surface. For the last color, I am using light flesh and the same as with all the rest. First, I am blending it with yellow and then paint the rest of the wing. I added light flesh on the edge of the wing too, to give it the brightness of the flame. In this way, I am covering all the wings. As our wings are ready, we can paint the last part, which is the veins on the wings. Take black paint and round brush size 3. Carefully cover the veins, so try not to mix your paint with too much water, so the paint will not flow down on the wings. Again, I'm holding the model with a paper towel to have more stability with my hands. Here, precision is very important, so take it slowly, do not rush your hand. You can use the tip to make the line sharp at the edges and then Fill it in with the color. Of course you can paint those veins with two layers to make them evenly black. Now we can make thin veins on the membrane of the wings. Take the smallest brush you have with a sharp tip. We are using round brush size 0 and dark brush in blue color. Mix your paint with water and then clean your brush. Dry it out on the paper towel and take the paint with the tip. Use your tip to draw the lines along the thin lines on the wings. You can skip that part if you are not comfortable with it, but then again remember that we can always paint over our mistakes. While painting the lines, if the paint does not touch itself to the surface or the line is not even, add some more water to your paint and clean the brush again. That should help. What's left to do is some shadows and highlights on the veins and the black edges of the wings. Take black paint and white brush size 4. Use dry brush technique to add some shadow under the main veins of the wings, close to the body. Thanks to that, we will lose sharp edges of color and make the wing look more natural. Start to touch with your brush the place when the vein and membrane meet. 
Start to move your brush with bristles attached to the surface all the time, along the line holding the brush with one position. Afterwards, take light grey and make highlights on the chosen parts of the upper edge of the wings. Use dry brush technique to gently create a mist of light. The upper edge of the wing is not even, it has some places that are thicker or higher than the rest of the edge, so choose them to concentrate your light and make the color stronger. Don't forget about the ends of the wings. And the wasp is ready! Thank you for joining us on this one guys, I hope you liked the video. I really liked the finished results. We are really curious about your results too. So tag us and Benef Imagination in your social medias and share your results with us. And don't forget to smash the like button and let us know in the comment section what you think of it. See you on the next one, bye bye!